guys so every one of us would have taken at least a medicine in our life right so while taking those medications we might make some medication errors knowingly or unknowingly so those medication errors that we make may lead to severe side effects so this video is to create an awareness about medication errors especially about food and drug interactions so let's go on into the video so every one of us are taking medication as a part of a daily routine either because of an illness that we already have or to prevent a disease or a disorder so there are few factors that we have to consider which can affect the effect of drug uh, such as age sex medical conditions dosage of medications other medications to avoid drug drug interactions and diet such as vitamins or herbal supplements etc so the common medication errors that we can avoid to stay healthy and safe are uh, taking the wrong dose of medication missing or skipping a dose taking medication at the wrong time uh, the intake of food that are not supposed to be taken while on certain medications and not taking the medication as per the instruction given by the physician or the pharmacist so as per data more than 1.5 million people make dangerous drug mistakes every year and majority of them are made by senior citizens that is elder people so one of the best ways to reduce these medication error will be we have to be aware of the drug we have to be very clear about the drug that we are taking to avoid its potential side effects so now let's see about a few of the dangerous food drug interactions the first one will be citrus fruit juice and statin so statins are the also called as cholesterol lowering drugs uh, the drugs like lovastatin atovastatins are prescribed for uh, lowering the cholesterol and the next one is dairy products and antibiotics so dairy products like milk uh, yogurt cheese curd etc it should not be taken while we are on antibiotics like tetracycline uh, ciprofloxacin which are given to treat bacterial infections and uh, pneumonia etc and the next one is caffeine and stimulant drugs so caffeine that is present in the coffee it should not be taken while we are on cns stimulant drugs that is central nervous system stimulant drugs which are given uh, to a uh, patient who are uh, having a narcolepsy sleep disorder uh, depression hyper uh, activity disorder and the next one is green leafy vegetables and anticoagulants so green leafy vegetables like cabbage sprouts uh, these should not be taken while we are on anticoagulants or also called as blood thinners so these medication it helps to prevent blood clots and the next one is alcohol and anti diabetic drugs so alcohol should not be taken while we are on anti diabetic drugs like uh, metformin glimepride or insulin uh so anti diabetic drugs or drugs uh, that are given to stabilize or control a uh, blood glucose level so the first one uh, da dairy products and uh, antibiotics so dairy products like milk yogurt cheese uh, butter decreases the absorption of antibiotic drugs like tetracycline ciprofloxacin etc so uh, these antibiotics are given uh, in order to uh, treat bacterial infections and uh, these should not be taken while we are on antibiotics these dairy products it should not be taken while we are on antibiotics uh, because the calcium present in such food it binds with the antibiotics in the stomach and small intestine uh, to form a metal complex that reduces the absorption of the drug in gastrointestinal tract so not only antibiotics but also some other drugs should not be taken while we are on um antibiotics so the drugs are uh, thyroid medications and uh, iron supplements so thyroid medications like levothyroxine uh, it's given to treat uh, thyroid cancer uh, goiter uh, thyroid hormone replacement etc and iron supplements like uh, ferrous fumarate ferrous gluconate um or given uh, in order to treat anemia so uh, when uh, the iron that we take uh, uh, through our diet is not sufficient Mm, ferrous fumarate and ferrous gl gluconate uh, supplements are prescribed so while we take these medications dairy products should be avoided so that we can prevent any food and drug interactions
So the next one is caffeine and stimulant drugs. Stimulant drugs that is CNS stimulant drugs are uh, called as uh, central nervous system stimulant drugs like epi, uh, nephrine, diethylpropion, uh, pseudoephedrine or are uh, prescribed to the patients uh, who are having narcolepsy, sleep disorder, hyperactivity disorder and depression. So taking caffeine along with stimulant drugs like epinephrine and pseudoephedrine, it might cause some serious problems including increased heart rate, high blood pressure. Pressure. so these uh, caffeine it should not be taken with these drugs since it blocks the absorption or it increases the activity so not only stimulant drugs there are other drugs that interact with caffeine like adenosine which is given to treat irregular heartbeat and antibiotics like quinolones which are given to treat bacterial diarrhea and other infections then simetidin uh, it's given to treat uh, ulcer and GERD uh, which is called as uh, gastroesophageal reflux disease and the next one theophylin is given to treat wheezing asthma bronchitis and verapamil it's given to treat uh, chest pain or uh, increased blood pressure that is hypertension and clozapine uh, it uh, it is given to treat mood disorders and dipyridamol uh, it's given to treat a uh, stroke and it's also given uh, for the patient who had um, heart valve replacement surgeries so these while taking uh, these drugs we have to avoid um, taking caffeine and the next one is citrus fruit juice and statins so as i said before statins are also called as cholesterol lowering drugs so when we take citrus fruit juice while on statins uh, like lipitor uh, the drugs are absorbed higher than the normal amount which leads to severe side effects like kidney failure heart rhythm problems and internal bleeding so not only statins but uh, there are other few drugs which um, like calcium channel blockers which is given to treat uh, hypertension like felodipine, nifedipine and certain cardiac drugs like amiodarone, drondarone etc and anti-infective drug, uh, drugs like erythromycin, primaquine, blood thinners or coagulants like rivaroxaban and clopidogrel and pain medications like fentanyl. So while we take these medications we have to uh, avoid taking citrus fruit juices. Uh, so citrus fruit juices includes orange, um, uh, then lemon, lime, etc. So the next important one will be alcohol and drug interaction. So alcohol, it affects insulin or oral diabetic pills. So oral diabetic pills uh, like insulin, metformin, glimifride, they are given to stabilize or control our blood glucose level. So while we take alcohol, um, well on uh, insulin or other diabetic pills it prolongs the effect of these drugs which leads to low blood sugar and also pain relief drugs like uh, acetaminophen it should not be taken with alcohol since it has a higher chance of causing severe liver damage and antihistamines like benadryl which are given uh, for any allergies um, um, like itching, sneezing, running nose and watery eyes should not be taken with alcohol because it uh, will cause increased drowsiness. So the next one is green leafy vegetables and anticoagulants. So anticoagulants or blood thinners or medications that help to prevent blood clots. So these drugs are given to people uh, who are at high risk of getting uh, clots to reduce uh, their chance of developing serious conditions like stroke or heart attack. So green leafy vegetables like cabbage, spinach, uh, broccoli and sprouts it contains um, vitamin K. They are uh, rich in vitamin K that can reduce or uh, decrease how well the aspirin thins the blood. So patient taking anticoagulants like warfarin should limit the intake of vitamin K rich foods like cabbage, spinach, broccoli, sprouts etc. Since vitamin K uh, it antagonizes the effect of the drug. So the other food and drug interactions includes um, pickled, cured, fermented uh, foods should not be taken while we are on MAOIs that is monoamine oxidase inhibitors which are given to treat depression, anxiety, uh, bipolar disorder etc. 
and foods that are rich in potassium like uh, banana uh, should be avoided while we take ACE inhibitors that is angiotensin converting enzyme inhibitor which is given to treat high blood pressure so protein rich foods like meat egg etc uh, then uh, fish um, prawns so uh, these kind of seafoods it should be um, avoided while we are on beta blockers like propranolol metoprolol atenolol uh, which are given to treat uh, hypertension and also fiber rich foods like carrot potato melons uh, beans and peas it should be we uh, should avoid while we are on drugs like metformin uh, levothyroxine etc so in this video i have discussed only about few important food drug interaction there are several other uh, food drug interactions so if you have any doubts in taking a drug you have to immediately uh, consult or uh, ask questions to a doctor or pharmacist never hesitate to ask questions or tell your healthcare provider if anything seems amiss so always uh, always remember that you are the final line of defense against medication errors so if you find my video helpful uh, do share it with your loved ones and you can also save a life so have a happy and healthy life thank you for watching this video guys have a good day